Sergeant Partain is not trying to tune in his favorite radio station. He's listening, listening to what could be the enemy planning an attack. Trying to see if we can collect any uh, unencrypted comms and signals going on right now. Sergeant Partain and soldiers from Combined Task Force Dragoon are providing security and overwatch for a convoy of friendly forces passing through this small village in Kandahar province. He is part of a low-level voice intercept team looking for enemy communication signals. Well, the regular scenario is uh, we go out, I have an interpreter with me, uh, I don't speak Pashto, so uh, I listen for any comms that come up, I ask him to interpret it for me. If it's any kind of code words or uh, communications of interest, uh, I'll definitely jot it down, pass that information up to uh, whoever's in charge of the patrol. Being able to intercept enemy communications makes a difference and allows troops on the ground to have the advantage on the battlefield. It's crucial because uh, as 11 Bravo, there's only so much I can do. If we don't use our enablers, um, then we're just making ourselves weaker for not only the operations that we're doing currently, but uh, future operations for us, uh, our Afghan uniform police, our Afghan local police, and the ANA that we work with. Well, us as an enabler, I, th I think we're pretty important. We're able to, uh, the biggest thing is save lives through being a really effective early warning system. Um, most enemy attacks are coordinated somehow through communications. And if we can get a heads up on those communications, we can actually end up uh, reacting faster and more being proactive instead of reactive to an enemy attack. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jose Ibarra, Kandahar Province, Afghanistan.